What's up guys? It's a beautiful day today. I have a great bubbly, green bubbly, lemon lime, great shirt, also green. Anyways, today I want to show you guys how to set up a Minecraft bedrock server. I will then, wow, look at that hair shape. I will then show you guys how to set it up so you can play with people on your same internet connection. It's called a LAN connection, which stands for a local area network connection. So if you have a friend over, or, I don't know, you want your brother or sister to play with you, um, as long as you guys are on the same internet connection, you'll all be able to connect to the server and uh, play on it together. Right, enough of me talking. Um, all you need for this is a computer and obviously uh, Minecraft, not the Java edition. Make sure you have the Pocket edition and or the Windows 10 edition and a computer where you have administrator access to it. Anyways, guys, let's go. Let's get into the video. So we're on my computer now. Uh, let's walk through on how to set this up. I promise you it should be pretty quick. It'll be really fun. I'll get you in, I'll get you out, and be playing with your friends in no time. All right, so let's get into your browser. I'm just using Firefox. You can use Chrome. Um, I use them both. But essentially what you're going to need to do is just search like Minecraft Bedrock Server. You'll be prompted with this gorgeous, gorgeous website, of course, of yours uh, truly, Mojang, Mojong, however you want to say it. Um, right now, we're going to do it on Windows. Eventually, I'll show you how to do it on Ubuntu. You guys don't need to worry about that. We're just going to go on Windows. So go ahead here, click I agree, and sign your life away. Save the file. And then once it's downloaded, super easy. We are going to extract it. Um, ideally, you'll put it on your desktop or something of that sort. So we're going to hit extract all. I already have this on my desktop just because I wanted to make sure I could give you guys the best video possible. So I already went through all the steps because that's how much I care. Your time is precious. So let's go ahead and extract this to the desktop. And yeah, yeah. We'll come back when it's done. Cool. So it finished. Um, you could have extracted this anywhere. I just chose to put it on the desktop. Um, I think I put it on the desktop. Didn't I? Where did I put it? Oh, I put it in downloads. Okay. Uh, I put it in downloads, but you can put it. <laughs> you can put it in desktop or really wherever. Um, doesn't matter too much. But you'll come here now. You'll go to your folder. Um, and it's actually super simple from here on out. All you have to do is hit Bedrock Server, more info, run anyway. I promise this will not hurt your computer. This is supported by Mojang. Okay. Um, you'll be alright. And then a lot of people run into this issue. So we'll boot up the game here. We'll go into Minecraft. Do, 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 do. Alright. Go to play servers um, and then make sure you use this as your address but most people um, you're gonna run into an issue where you actually will not be able to connect um, and that's where you're gonna need to enter the command it's uh, this command now I'm gonna show you how to fix it because I'm a nice guy and I want to help you so this is also in the documentation so you can go into your file or your folder that you extracted, right? And go to the Bedrock Server How To. It's going to give you this awesome documentation. It's going to give you some jargon. Who cares? Um, essentially, it's just there was an issue where if you're running the server on the same computer that you're trying to connect to the server, it essentially blocks you. So running this command will prevent you from being blocked. What you gonna do? <laughs> I don't know if I can keep on doing this. <laughs> but what you're gonna do is take this, um, this great command, it's super cool. I think you're going to love it. Very nice. Um, you're gonna go into command prompt. You're gonna hit run as Here you can do this. And you're going to paste it. All right, it's super simple. And then hopefully now when you're trying to connect to the server, 
you'll be able to just go right in. So what you're going to do is add your server. It doesn't matter what the name is. You're going to pick 127.0.0.1. Bob's your uncle. Wait. That's what you want to do. And then you want to hit play. And you're in, dude. It's like, it's just like cake. It's so easy. And now I'm on my own Rex. And now I'm the coolest kid in school. And now... Now, I'm so hard. I'm my own server. Okay, this is my own server. It's not yours. Honestly, I have to pull out your stuff. Okay, and if it's not, I have one more thing for you. And you're gonna run this command and give me three seconds. This is it. This is the command you'd run. Not as cool as the other one, but this is what you would run if. You are unable to connect to your server still. Um, hopefully, you don't need to run this. And if you skip, the, see if you skip ahead. I, I like God, unbelievable. Um, if you skipped ahead and then you're seeing this now, you don't need to run this um, unless the other command did not work. Okay. And now you're chilling. So now let's go into the next step, which I'm gonna show you how to become an administrator on your server. But before we do that, I want you to download an editor to edit your text files. Okay, part of this channel is I'm going to teach you how to be a developer as well as, you know, be awesome at Minecraft. But mostly, I want to teach you some skills. Okay, so we're going to download an editor called VS Code. Okay, Visual Studio Code. And then we will make you an administrator. I promise. Still here? Ugh. Oh. Pop a bless. All right, so search in your browser for Visual Studio Code. Ugh. All right, so go to VS Code here. Um, download it. I think I just heard a dog. Uh, you may have not heard it. I think I might just be going nuts. I th I think I heard a dog in Minecraft in my background. Anyways, download it. Um, install it. Should be pretty pretty straightforward. Alright. Already installed already installed it. Which is why I'm not doing it again right now. So in your server here, go to permissions. Okay. And uh you guys like JSON? Yes, you guys like JSON? I can Google guys. I can Google. Okay, so JSON and uh we're gonna use it a lot in this channel. Um just because it is JavaScript object notation. I can read. I can read right off the page, actually. Um, JSON is a syntax for storing and exchanging data. It's super helpful. And uh, we're going to be writing a lot of JavaScript um, when we get to writing mods for Minecraft. Um, at least I'll be writing the mods and or showing you how to write them. Or I'll just write them and I'll, I'll just show you kind of like how I did it. But maybe it's not going to be like a tutorial. Maybe it'll just be like something else. Okay. Anyways, um, in order to make someone an admin, you have to edit their permissions, which is a JSON file, right? Okay. That's what. That's the whole JSON spiel I just did. Was it stupid? It could have been. Do you, do, do you think I care? You know? I don't know. I don't know. All right. So... We're going to go permissions, double click it, and or open it with code. Just make sure you open this bad boy in code. And uh, now tell your mom you, uh, you're gonna, you're about to write some JSON. All right? Tell her. She's going to be pumped. She's going to be fucking pumped, dude. So pumped. All right. So what we need to do, this is actually in the documentation as well. So I'm not just pulling this out of thin air, right? Unless, you know... I am. It didn't. So, I, I nothing came back. Yikes. All right. So we're scrolling. We're scrolling. And you know what? I'm, I'm gonna control F and I'm gonna look for permissions. Permissions. Oh, here we are. Here we are. Okay. We're almost there. We're almost there. All right. I'm gonna make you an admin. I promise. 
All right, so we're essentially going to make you an operator. It's the same thing as an admin. I believe Minecraft just calls it an operator because they do what they do what they want. All right, so yeah, your XUID is a unique identifier. So it's just something that no one else has. It's like it's literally going to be impossible for anyone else to have this unique value. That's the whole point of it being unique. It's what the server sees. It's how it identifies who you are. And you guys are all unique. You're all, you're all uh, unique individuals. And I believe in all of you. So, take that, dad. All right. So you get the X UID from the server. The server will tell you what the X U I D is. So when you connect here, okay, it gives you XUID in the server, assuming you have the server running, okay? If you don't, go back to your server file, okay? Double click on Bedrock Server, this guy, make sure it starts, cool, and then uh, connect to it. Once you connect, you will see player connected, Spongy McWeepy, that's me, okay? Um, and then you'll see the XUID, you copy this puppy, Okay, super easy, super great. You're gonna give yourself the permission, right? You write permission. And you wanna be an operator, okay? But we need to, like, okay, so how do we tell it who you are? You guys know, you guys know, right? We give it your XUID, okay? We give it the XUID and we tell who we want to be a operator okay and that's me i want to be an operator of my own server me dude all right so smack that there bob's your uncle okay and i'm gonna run permission reload ops reloaded okay and now when i get in game i, I think I, i'm gonna log out and log back in just in case <laughs> i don't want to look sick. All right, so now um, you'll be able to give yourself stuff and do cool things. And now that you're an operator, you can edit what you can do to your world, kind of from this menu stuff here. <laughs> this is a hot mess, um, but I love it. So yeah, you're, you're, you're the man now. You're an administrator. Um, and then I'll link you you know what? I'll do one more. You know what? I'm going to keep going. I wanna, I'm going to give you a command. I want to show you how to give yourself something for making it through this. Okay? I'm going to show you how to do something. Give me one second, all right? I'm going to show you how to give yourself an item because you're an administrator. But don't you abuse it. All right, folks. In order to use a give command, it's considered a cheat. So we need to enable it on the server. So the server's like cool man yeah I'll let you cheat you're a filthy scumbag um, but I'll let you do it because you added my config file and now I'm gonna let you do it because you're like I said you're a scumbag all right so let's do it so I think it's, it's in here so it's in the server and then we're going to go here, we're going to go to cheats, okay, allow cheats, right here, you're going to change this to true, okay, there's an allow cheats in here, you change that to true, okay, and uh, yeah, now we're going to go in game, and the give command should work, it should, it should, it should work, so why wouldn't it, I'm going to restart my server, okay, you can restart, well, I, I just killed it, um, once you're in that window, you can hit Control C, and that will um, essentially terminate your server. I'm going to start it back up because it's going to reload that config file you just chained. Cha chained, but did, but did. You didn't chain it. You changed it. So now you're going to come here, and don't think I forgot. I'm still going to show you how to connect um, with your friends. Okay, it's super easy, um, and that will be next. Give 
around make white be Ooh, uh, give me an apple. I love me an apple. There you go. Where is your oyster? I need the apple. I'm just gonna So now you're going to play with your friends, but your friends are at your house. This isn't for your friends at other people's houses. This is when your friends are at your house on the same internet, the, but, the, the, but, the, the same internet connection as you, bud. Okay? What we do here is Chill. Alright? So, I'm losing train of thought. So, I'm so sorry. Okay. Okay, so you're gonna go here. And your friends will be like, "How do I play, dude? I just want to play with you." And you're like, "All right, I got you." You're gonna come here. You're gonna type command. You're gonna type IP config. Bada bing, bada boom. You're gonna give your friend this IPv4 address here. Okay, right here. And then you're gonna get, tell them to go through the same process as putting in the server, but then have them put in this address right here. And then they can play with you. Bada bing, bada boom, Bob's your uncle again. So, and or if you're your friend, right, they'll be able to connect through the friends tab. And that's it, guys. Sorry the video went on longer than I intended, but you know, new to this whole thing, and we're trying to grow the channel. I'm trying to figure out what it's going to be, and I think we're going to learn a lot together, and I think it's going to be a great time. All right, you guys, have a good time. McWipe Gang, we're out. Peace.